Here we are back at it again. Uh, my uh, papers have dried. I had them outside so they dried a little bit quicker. Things I'm going to need, I have just a scrap piece of paper so if I need to glue something I can set this down and do the glue on it. also have some tape uh, for taping the sides and glue stick uh, for uh, getting those little hard to get spots. So um, let's get at it. So here are all the pieces dried and ready to go and I have them somewhat in somewhat of an order here. I guess this goes this way. So uh, first thing I need to do is we're going to need this one right here. We need this guy. That's the farthest away um, that we have to deal with. And so that's that guy. Step number one. That's good. Okay, then I have this guy coming in here. Now some of these I'm going to have to kind of look at a little bit uh, on where I'm going to be putting them. Uh, in comparison with some of the other pieces because this guy was going to go in here somewhere. Those are a lot the same value and then this guy remember when you're tearing the, the tape from the paper um, to tear it away from the paper and not across the paper. What do I mean by that is this this is this is something we covered before taking it away from the paper itself like that. All right, so now we're getting our pieces. This one was going to kind of go something like this. And then this one was going to be something like this. And this one. I wanted to, I'm not going to, I haven't taped those down yet because this, this is the one I kind of needed to see what was going on with it. Um, on that, so. All right, this guy over here, because this one, I think, is going to have as a piece like this, covering this guy up, and then this one had to, was going to be a little bit like that. Okay, so now that I understand where that one's going to go compared with this guy, kind of like this, then I can come back here and maybe get this one down a little bit. I'm going to pop that up a little bit like that. And maybe a little mark on the, on the paper like this will be helpful so I know about where it is. Like that. Okay, where was that scrap paper I had? So this is the back side of this guy. And I wanted the glue stick to be on that one and he's going to go like this and so I need just this side of it to kind of keep it in place and then I can put that little part there and that kind of like that all right good 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 and then this one I was going to utilize something like this And so him, that one I can I can put some glue on it. But first, let's do this. Let's take this and tape it down a little bit, and then wrap it around the sides like that. Now I can come back in here like that, and I can just put a little bit of the glue here. I don't want it all the way down here because I got my table and stuff I'm dealing with down there. But I can tape it across this way to kind of hold that in place. So I've got, got the double stick. I have the tape to hold it in place. And so now when I fold it back over, it's going right where I want it to go. Kind of like that. All right, cool. And then this guy was going to go like this. Some of them I don't feel I'm going to need to tape down as much. Others of them, obviously, I will uh, with those. Uh, I mean, as far as the glue goes, I tape, sometimes tape, sometimes glue. Just kind of depends on, on where we are and what we're doing. So this one is just going to be tape on both sides with those. Yeah, that one, because I want this paper to kind of stick up a little bit so I can kind of have some depth on those as well. And so if it's glued down flat all the time, you don't have that, that overlapping effect that I was looking for on those. Okay, so we're cruising there. What do we got next? I got 
two pieces, pull the tape away from the paper because it sticks to it and it will rip your paper sometimes. And then this guy, how did that, how is that one going to go? Maybe this one, I got to get the other piece in here so I can see where it's going so I know how it folds across those. Okay, that's this big piece right here, this big one at the bottom. Okay. Go away from the paper. And now this one I can cut off the bottom. There's somewhere I'm gonna be cutting off the bottom. Um, but I have some I know I'm gonna overlap the bottom on this one, so I'm not as concerned about that. So this piece here has got to come down a little bit. Maybe this piece is more like that that we're dealing with. It's got all these layers. This is going to have to come down just a hair more like that one. And let me get this other one off so I can kind of see how that they are going to line up. This one's seriously taped down. There we go. So this one is going to come across like this. Okay, so now that helps us here on how I want this to be. I think that I want that down just a little lower. So I have all these little mountains behind each other. And so that's going to help that one knowing where that is. How's that grab you? Me too. Okay, so now I can take this piece off, hold that one in place, and I'm going to put a little line underneath this one here, so I know where that is. And where's my magic paper? My sticky paper, because I'm going to need it for glue. Make sure I'm not gluing anything to something else here. So let's put the glue stick, particularly on the bottom. I can be generous. And then this one goes from here along that line like that. go. Then this one <laughs> with the wad of tape stuck to it. Yeah, right. Okay. I was going to come up here like this. Let me just double check, make sure I got this right. Because I, I still have that portion showing. Let me double check, make sure this is going to cover those things up. That looks correct. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I can Take and tape this piece down along the edge here. And you can see where I need some other area here. Just right here. Because that's the, the layer where that other paper was. Like that. Wrapping around. Okay. Now I could put a little bit of glue right there. Maybe I'll, I'll do that. Maybe we'll just come and stick a little bit of glue right here on the side just so it stays good and attached. This one, bring in here like that. Let's bring my friendly tape back. Notice this is kind of, it's monochromatic, huh? I got blues and greens in here, just, just mostly that same color. Wrap that one around. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I could, I could put a little bit of, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. Just so that'll have a little bit more support. I don't want a whole bunch of glue over the whole thing. 
but I do want a little just to hold that in place a little bit better like that and then I'm going to take a little piece of tape on the bottom section here and fold that around that way fold it in place and yep 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 i'm going to get a little bit over here in the corner too that little piece is just hanging out there so this little corner piece needs to be taped down as well all right let's go for our, we're getting down to the nitty and the gritty i got the last little pieces that i i was looking for on this particular painting pull this away from there Pull this one away. Start out with. And, and this is that little silhouette of a thing that I was looking for. Like that. So let's take this one and put a piece of tape right here. And wrap it around. Not too shabby. And this one, I'm going to have this glued down all the way across to the very end. So I want it to make sure it sticks. Because it is that last piece that's on top there, huh? Okay. All the way down like that. Doki smoky. Take that, fold it across, make sure we're lined up on the corners. Okay, now comes the interesting parts here. I have some little bits of, those are stuck really well. <laughs> My trees are stuck. Uh, let's see how that works. That's kind of a half of a tree. Okay. Well, that worked much better. Maybe these two trees can be together here in some manner or fashion. So, lesson to be learned. Be careful about sticking the whole stinking back of the tree to the, to the thing there. That's not going to be too great. This does get glue on your fingers, by the way. That is the fun part of all this, right? Let's see if I can get some of these other ones off. Kind of. That's a splendid tree. probably notice this doesn't look exactly like the picture on the front. There is a little bit of it, the close stuff was a little bit different on that. But I think it looks okay. Remember the idea is to get 
not an exact representation, but something similar on those. And I think we're able to accomplish that. I think right there with that one, I think these guys like to be together. Maybe about right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's bring it on down so we have the whole effect on that one. Uh, we have, I think I'm going to fold this up just a little bit like this. So I get a little more separation on that, so it sticks out a little bit. Maybe this one curled up a little bit too, so that we can actually see that there's shadow behind these. Like that. And that there's space as we curl these back a little bit like that. And so when we have the light coming in on it, these pieces all appear to be three-dimensional and that they're sticking out from one another like that. That looks like the finished painting that we're after. Uh, a, a landscape painting of your choice. It kind of went, like I said, monochromatic. Looked up, turned out pretty good. Um, but that's what we're looking for. Um, but you can have different colors. Yours doesn't have to be monochromatic by any means. Um, that's it. Uh, have some fun.